here with Johnny Davis. He said I can call him JD because I'm 3D. That's let's fine. Get, let's that's get fine. right to it. Take me through this process. You put your name in the drafts from your freshman year to your sophomore year, just insane. Take me through. Well, I'll start off with this year. You know, I don't think a lot of people expected me or my team to do what we did. And we kind of just shot up out of nowhere. You know, I had a really great season. After talking with my, my agents and my parents, I decided to enter my name into the draft. I'm not going to speculate on where exactly I'm projecting or anything like that, but I just know I got a really good chance of getting drafted. Davis launches and buries it. No answer for the burgeoning star, Johnny Davis. I'll say it for you. You're projected to be a lottery pick in the first round. Your name is steadily growing up there. Take me through that process and how it makes you feel. People recognize what you do. You know, it makes me feel good about myself. It just shows that all the hard work I put in is finally paying off. But I don't need people to, you know, know my name or anything like that right now. I feel like I still got a lot to prove. As you're going through this process, has anything surprised you with general managers and teams you're looking for in this process? I mean, it's all kind of surprising just to be able to meet those guys and, you know, know where the real work comes in as, you know, behind closed doors. I like that term, real work. When did you really realize that this could be a dream come true, this could be my livelihood? I wouldn't say until after the season. Um, you know, I, I mean, I kept up with it a little bit during the season. So when you're in high school, when you're in elementary school, you weren't dribbling the ball and saying, I want to make it to the NBA one day. Oh, oh no, I definitely was. But okay. I mean, you know, no, every, okay. everybody has that has the dream of making it to the NBA and doing what they love to do. But I didn't realize I would be one of those guys here. But like I said, I put in a lot of work to be here. That young man has been huge so far for the Badgers. The NBA loves the pick and roll. How do you see your game thriving in the pick and roll game? I think I'll thrive a lot in the pick and roll, especially because I'm a guard. But, you know, I have the ability to step outside. If somebody goes on the screen, I can knock down a shot. Or if I get a wide open lane to the rim, I'm going to put it on somebody's head. Do we have hops like that? Hops, you know, I got a little bit of length to me. But, you know, I can get up a little bit. When you're watching the NBA, is there one guard or two guards you say, yeah, I like his game? I said I'm going to pattern my game after his, but I can see it fit. Um, Devin Booker, for sure. I like the way he shoots the ball, the way he scores a variety of different ways. And then if I'm going to pick somebody else, I'd say Donovan Mitchell, just because of how strong he is. He's well balanced. He's a guy that can score at all three levels pretty easily. There's always something when you put your name in the draft, the naysayers say you can't do. What is that one thing you're working on to make sure your game's tightened up when your name's called? Shooting. You know, this past season at Wisconsin, I felt like I didn't shoot the way I wanted to. A lot of the shots I got were a lot more contested later in the season because of the year I was having. So I definitely say um, outside of shooting, being able to shoot off the dribble, and also just being a playmaker. You know, a lot of people don't think I can come in and, you know, make an impact right away. Davis puts it down. What a shot. In your dream of dreams, we had this conversation a year from now. Rookie of the year? I'm going to try. I'm going to work for it. First team? All rookie? I'm not, I'm not going to try to, you know, make any assumptions right now or predictions, but if I'm one of those higher pick guys, I feel like I really got a good chance to, you know, make one of those teams or win that award. Draft night. What are you going to be wearing? And who's going to be there to support your draft night? Mom, dad, twin brother, little brother and sister, who are twins as well. Got That's right. You got two, two sets, two sets of, twins of twins in the family. family. Yep, crazy. yep. And then my agents will be there, both of them. I don't know. I'm, I'm look, leaning more towards a red suit just because of Wisconsin, you know, a homegrown kid. But, you know, there's, there's plenty of time for me to be able to make a final decision and switch it up a little bit. Will you have major emotion when you hear your name called? I'm not the type of guy to really get emotional, but on this certain occasion, on that night, probably, yeah. JD with 3D.